welcome back for a second example on how to find the determinant of a three by three matrix using the cofactor method. Using the cofactor method to calculate the determinant of a three by three matrix, we multiply each element in any row or column of a matrix by its cofactor. The sum of these products is equal to the determinant. Where the cofactor of each element is equal to negative one raised to the power of i plus j where i is the row and j is the column of the given element, and m, the minor, is equal to the two by two determinant formed by eliminating the row and column of the given element. So going back to our example, the first step is to decide which row or column we want to use to calculate our determinant. And since we have a zero in row three, column one, it'll be easiest if we use either row three or column one. Let's go ahead and use row three to calculate our determinant. So we'll have the determinant of matrix A. It's going to be equal to the first element in our row, which is zero, times negative one raised to the power of the sum of the row and column of this element. This element is in row three, column one, and three plus one is four, so we're going to raise this to the fourth power. Now of course we could stop here because we're multiplying by zero, but let's go ahead and continue just to review. So now we're going to multiply this by the two by two determinant formed by eliminating the row and column of this element. So we'll eliminate row three and column one, leaving us with these four elements to form our two by two determinant. So we'll have negative three, four, six, eight. Now we'll move to the next element in this row which is negative two. So we'll have plus negative two times negative one raised to the power of, well this element is in row three, column two, three plus two is five, so now we'll raise negative one to the fifth power. And we'll multiply this by a two by two determinant formed by eliminating the row and column of this element here. So we'll eliminate row three, column two this time leaving us with the elements two, four, negative one, eight. Plus the last element in our row, which is positive one, times negative one raised to the power of the row plus the column of the element that we're using. This is in row three, column three. Three plus three is equal to six. We'll multiply this by the two by two determinant formed by eliminating the row and column of our element. So we'll eliminate row three and column three. So the elements that we'll use will be two, negative three, negative one, six. And now we're left to simplify this. The first product will be zero. That's why we decided to use row three. Now looking at the next product, we have negative one to the fifth, that's negative one, times negative two, so we have plus positive two, times the value of our two by two determinant, which would be two times eight minus four times negative one. Well, two times eight is sixteen, four times negative one is negative four, sixteen minus negative four is positive twenty, plus here we have negative one to the six, that's positive one times one, so we have one times the value of our determinant, which again would be two times six minus negative three times negative one. So we would have twelve minus three or positive nine. So we have zero plus forty plus nine which is equal to 49. So the determinant of matrix A is equal to positive 49. Remember we can also indicate a determinant using vertical bars. So we could also indicate this determinant using this notation here. If you want to see the same determinant using the diagonal method, I'll put a link on the screen. I hope you found this helpful.